The Immortal John Hancock here, and today I'm discussing current games I'm playing on the Nintendo Switch. I am sometimes overwhelmed by searching the eShop and checking for new games. It's like, I'm there's so many of them. And so today, I take a few that I purchased off the eShop, and I showcase some gameplay footage and talk about what I think of them. There are so many great titles coming on the Nintendo Switch. I really love, especially the independent titles that are coming out every week it's like holy cow there's so many choices of games to play on this fantastic console i'm really excited to showcase what i've been playing let's check it out i'm really excited about this awesome turrican style game now this is a game that you know i've wanted to play a lot and i wanted to get it for my dreamcast and it was too expensive when the neo geo version came out which i would st still love to have but i do not have in my collection and this is now available for 10 bucks and this is an example of, you know, Nintendo Switch getting these amazing ports. And this is the definitive ports. There's extra features in this. And I haven't played this a ton. But what I do know, what I do know is that this is the best version of it. There's awesome filter options. You can have scanline filter options on it. But this is, if you like Turrican, this is an amazing game. playing the intro here and amazing graphics it is it is a fantastic exploratory game action side schooler originally on Neo Geo it was on Dreamcast as well it's the sprite based graphics I think that makes this stand out as an excellent game lots of detail here I really appreciate and enjoy the details in this game like the background waterfall you know and the, you know, it just, it feels retro, but it feels it, it, it does it in such a proper way. I really enjoy it. The other thing I like about the Switch version is the twin stick option of playing it. I found it to be the easiest way to play this game. You know, and using one stick to maneuver and the other one to rotate your cannon around and then pressing, simply pressing X to uh, do ball move. And I actually really enjoy uh, the, this version. is hands down the best version to play. Another game that I purchased from the eShop was Robonauts. It was that much. It was on sale. And Robonauts is kind of a classic arcade style game. You can play cooperatively. You can do it against somebody. I really like the features that this game offers. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you a uh, single player. I haven't played a ton of it, but what I've played so far is really interesting. So yeah, it's got a it's got a cool like planet jumping mechanic in it where you can hop from one planet to another. It kind of reminds me of something like uh, from Super Mario Galaxy. And it's, it's really cool. It's got a side-scrolling action. You get some different weapons here. And the goal is to eliminate enemies and hop from one planet to another. Sometimes you're defending something. Sometimes you're, you're blowing up something. Uh, I, I like playing this casually. And I like that there is an option of that on this game. And so I really enjoyed what I've played so far. I haven't played it a ton. But what I really do like about it is the this mechanic of hopping from one planet to another, it's kind of a neat idea. And it's been done in other games, but you know, the price is right. And some of these games are as cheap as a few bucks. You know, one thing I like about the eShop is that, you know, for as little as a, even just a couple dollars, you can check out an amazing game such as this, which is on sale right now. And I really appreciate it, you know, for me, the Switch and its digital library is something that I would utilize, especially on a trip. And, you know, something where I'm not having to fiddle with parts. I can just simply go to my Switch menu and check out a game. 
and for a couple bucks this is well worth it. I really enjoyed this game and look forward to playing this more this summer. This is another game that's currently on sale and it's Yoku's Island Express. Really excited to finally have this game in my library. This is a strange game. Absolutely love gorgeous graphics, open world pinball game. And that's the best way to describe it. I really, really love this game. And it's got some weird mechanics. It's got it's it's something that's you're gonna enjoy playing it from the get-go. It is so fun that I just love everything about this game. The graphics, the gameplay. I heard about this game from some other channels, and I really, really, really enjoy when a developer makes a, a, a game such as this. It's just <clears throat> fantastic. And I look forward to playing this one a lot more. I, I, I think this is something that I want to definitely show my son. And I really, really think that this is the strength of the eShop, these games, especially on sale, 10 bucks. Like this is a game that's got a lot to it. And I look forward to playing this a lot more and, and checking it out when I have some free time. I honestly I haven't played a game quite like this. I mean, maybe Sonic Spinball is the closest example. But I like this so much more. Everything about this game pops. I highly recommend this game for people, especially on sale for 10 bucks on the eShop. Up next is Mana Spark, and this is a procedural roguelike. It's got a cool graphics. This is something that's on sale right now on the eShop, and I really appreciate it. What I like about these roguelikes is it's a different experience every time. And so every time you run through it, you're going to get a different experience. And, you know, for a couple bucks, this is definitely worth it. I find myself attracted to these simple style games on the Nintendo Switch. I think the Nintendo Switch is designed perfectly for these things. And this is the type of game that I see myself playing in bite-sized moments and at times this summer. I really appreciate the fact that these games are being offered at a discount as well. You know, it's something that's not talked about enough is that sometimes it's better just to wait to get a game and this is a good example of that. I really like the random exploratory aspect of this game. I found myself wanting to play it quite a bit, more than I initially planned. You know, is it just another roguelike? No, it's very challenging combat. There's a lot to it. I'm, I, I haven't played it a ton, but this is something that I see myself playing more and more. It's got some pretty cool enemies and sprite work going on here. It's definitely got a style here. So there you have it. That's what I've been playing on my Nintendo Switch. I am taken care of for several weeks. Holy cow, I really appreciate and enjoy Gun Lord X. And so that's a new game. And you know, I finally, finally got to sit down and play some of it. I look forward to beating it. I heard it's a pretty long and adventurous game. And you know, having some time in the summer, I'll finally be able to play some of my backlog, which is tremendous. Just want to thank the ongoing support of my YouTube channel as I do this around a full-time job of teaching second grade. 
I have a lot of fun uploading content and do several videos a week. You folks are wonderful and beautiful. Thank you for the ongoing support. This is the immortal John Hancock. You take care.